Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'll show you my updated free tweaking utility. So this tool increases your FPS, decreases your latency and input delay. It also has other benefits like cleaning your temporary files and other useless apps of your PC. But before we start the tutorial, I want to tell you guys about my premium and standard tweaking utilities. So these are basically better and more advanced versions of this free one. They have a lot more tweaks than my free one. So if you notice a difference after the free utility, then my premium or standard tweaking utility will help you so much more. I have hundreds of reviews on my website and my Discord server, so make sure to check them out. Now let's just start the video. Alright, so first I'll show you how to download the tool. So simply go to the description of this video and go here and join this Discord server you can see. This is discord.gg slash exm. Once you're in the server, there's this category which is called hashtag free tweaks, and you will find the latest version of my free utility. Let's just download it, so go to download and right click on this and download it. So just click on this and simply you can see I have the free tweaking utility 2.2 in here and it's still in a zipped folder. So just drag this onto your desktop or anywhere, uh, it doesn't really matter. And you can see it's now extracted. Also, right before we start uh, using the utility, get this video to 1000 likes and I'll drop an update for the utility with new tweaks. And simply right click on it and run it as administrator. And that's all you have to do. So first thing you wanna do is make a restore point. So press one and this will make a restore point which allows you to bring your PC back to default like from before you use the tweaks. So yeah, I'm gonna skip to when it's finished. So first we have the general category and I recommend doing everything in here. So I'll just quickly speed run through it. All right, so I finished the category. So after that we have power tweaks. So don't do these if your PC has any overheating issues. But if it doesn't, just go here and press OK on this little pop-up and simply press 1, which will apply my power plan. So I'll simply still use my premium power plan since it's a lot better. But if you have any like extra power plans which you don't want to use, I recommend deleting them since they can actually switch over automatically. So this is how you delete a power plan. Go to change plan settings, delete plan and just select my free one. And in the future, if you want an even better power plan, then definitely check out my premium tweaks. But yeah, after that, just go to power tweaks, which is number two. That's finished. So that's that category. And after that, we have windows and deep load. So just press three. And I'm also gonna do every single option in this category, but there are some which I have to explain. So yeah, I'll just speed run until I get to the ones which I'll have to Here we have number six, which uh, you just press six, and copy my options. So make sure you show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges on screen fonts is selected. Those are just nice quality of life features. And then press okay. All right, so after that, just press seven. This will disable Bluetooth. And also a little side note, there's a bunch of reverts. Uh, if you just press M and then go to E, which is reverts, and you can uh, bring back stuff like, you can enable Bluetooth again, you can reinstall Windows apps, etc. you know? So yeah, I just want to remind you guys of that. But yeah, then we have Windows Update Blocker, which is an app which allows you to disable updates. And there's a good reason why you would want to do this. So you can be playing a game and when a Windows update starts, it will completely kill your performance. So I recommend having updates disabled. And if you want to install one, just open the utility again and go to enable updates. Yeah, simple as that. And then just press apply now. I'm going to keep them disabled. And also a little side note, uh, Microsoft Store doesn't work when updates are disabled. So when you want to download something from the Microsoft Store, then enable them. After that, uh, I'm just going to do the rest of these. So nine. All right. So after that, we have the clean category. So this is pretty self-explanatory. This will clean a whole lot of temporary files of your PC and it won't clean anything that your PC actually needs. Don't worry about it. So just press four. And first it will remove a bunch of uh, device data which your PC doesn't need. And then it will start up this cleanup. And yeah, it's finished, simple as that. It may take a little longer. If it gets stuck, then you can close it. It sometimes happens, but it's pretty rare. But yeah, after that we have RAM tweaks, which uh, pretty self-explanatory, just optimizes stuff in the registry, which has something to do with RAM. After that, we have the Autoruns app, which this is a really useful app and it allows you to disable a bunch of startup services. So 
make sure you go to log on. So we'll go to this log on section right here. And then I recommend basically disabling everything except your antivirus. So you can see I use asset as my antivirus and CMD and make sure these NA files are checked as well. But the rest of this, like uh, Microsoft Edge uh, updates and stuff like this, I recommend having everything unchecked. Uh, it should look something like this. And if you have something which you want when you uh, want to start up when your PC turns on, for example, I don't know, for some very particular reason you want Discord to start up, then select it. But uh, if you're, for example, not using it, it will still run in the background and it will kill your performance. So that's why it's highly recommended to uncheck stuff in here. And after that, you can just simply close it. All right, so then we have GPU tweaks. So here you basically select uh, whichever GPU you have. And if you don't know what uh, brand of GPU you have, go to task manager and go to performance. And you can see I have a NVIDIA RTX 3080. And so I'm just gonna do NVIDIA tweaks. So if you have a, if it shows like Radeon, then do AMD. And if you, if it shows Intel, then do that. A uh, pretty self-explanatory. So one. So after that, we have CPU tweaks, which uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. Just uh, disables a bunch of stuff, which uh, lowers your CPU's performance. And after that, we have USB tweaks. So these ones were pretty self-explanatory, all of them. Sorry for using that word so much, by the way. I don't know what. I'm using it so much but yeah then we have mouse and keyboard which again uh, this will disable a bunch of stuff like toggle keys sticky keys and it will overall just make your mouse and keyboard feel way more responsive and then we have mouse and keyboard data queue size here you can select whichever type of CPU you have so go to task manager and go to performance go to CPU and comment whichever you have right here and also for the people I who use my previous utilities, I updated the settings, so do this again because uh, I changed the values a bit. But you can see I have a 13th gen i7 and that's a high-end CPU. So yeah, that's everything for the utility. After you finished, make sure to restart your PC. So just go here and restart your PC. And yeah. Uh, then turn it back on and play any of your favorite games because this works on other games It doesn't necessarily only work on Fortnite, but I'm just targeting this video towards my Fortnite audience But before we end the video, I want to tell you guys a few more things So if you guys want to revert the tweaks uh, simply go to restore point. So press R on your keyboard and Here select the EXM free utility restore point next and make sure your system drive is selected next and then press finish and then it will take a little while and it will restore all the settings back to default so yeah and then if you want to have your pc completely optimized you will have way better performance than using my free utility just read the reviews you will see it and this will take you to my website exmtweaks.com and simply go to buy and you can check out my premium and standard tweaking utility so there's a lot more info on this uh, website and there's also more on my discord server i want to thank you guys for watching uh i kind of tried to improve my editing in this video i uh, hope you guys like it if there's anything you guys want me to add to my free utility then you can suggest it in the comments or in my discord server but yeah sorry for dragging this video on uh, love you guys bye